Hello everybody, welcome on our first webinar ever. We are very happy to see you all here. We are a little bit stressed because it's our first webinar as well. But we are a little bit stressed, but also excited that so many of you are interested in our products and in the, in, and in the new way of meeting with us. Because of the post-COVID situation, we are not able to travel, you are not able to visit us. So we had to figure it out and make it online. We are happy that you also like it. And before we go further, could you please uh, make sure you are muted because we want to be sure that all the technical uh, sound system is working well. So please mute yourself. Later on, we're gonna give you voice when we're gonna have Q&I. Or if you have any questions, you can just put it on the chat. So thank you in advance for cooperation. <laughs> um, during last season, we made few changes in our trailers. We made them a little bit um, easier and more comfortable in use. So uh, we will show you a few details, those details which we changed during this time, uh, but this will go in the next part. We hope this uh, meeting and this webinar will be helpful for you to, mm, to make a decision to buy a trailer from us or to get another one. Um, on the end, we're going to show you a s our special offer just for the guests of this webinar. So stay tuned, it's worth it. And before we start, we're going to show you in the background how easy and uh, fast it is to unfold our product, our trailers. So we invited here Ivan, our worker. Hello, Ivan. <laughs> and he is going to start unfolding it showing you in the background how fast and easy it goes. But, okay, are you ready? Yeah, we can go. All right, so he start to unfolding it. You can, you can uh, watch it in the background. Uh, our camera operator is going to show you this in the background. And right now we're gonna focus on a little bit information about us. So this is Natalia. She's responsible Hello. for um, West Europe, markets of uh, West Europe, Asia and Australia. And I am Joanna, and I'm responsible for German-speaking countries and the rest of the world. <laughs> Our company is located in the center of Poland, and we are producing those trailers since 2007, 2010, depending on what, what products we are talking about. However, our workers that are here uh, have experience in uh, mobile LEDs even since t t uh, 2004. Uh, so, regarding our qualification uh, and experience, there is no doubt about us. Um, our products are designed and produced here in Poland in our factory, in this place where we are right now. And um, we offer products with our own homologation, which gives you guarantee that they are roads approved for European roads and also for American roads. Uh, we have, we are the only producer who offers products with American DOT, Department of Transport, which is not easy to get. Um, what I can say also is uh, that we have, um, about experience, that we have made over 250 trailers already, but about details in our experience, we're going to talk later on a little bit. Um, now a little bit about the product in general. Uh, you might have seen those LEDs on the uh, on the streets or crossroads showing advertisements. Uh, to put them on the street, you need to have a permission or to have a land or to rent this land. And it's expensive and not even easy to get. So we went farther with this idea and we made those LEDs, uh, we made those screens uh, mobile. You put them anywhere you want, anywhere your car can park and you just leave it for how long you want. You don't care for a long time permission or to, to, to have the land or whatever. Um, our uh, trailers and um, screens can be used and uh, helpful in uh, advertisements on the streets, for the political, political speeches, for outdoor cinemas, which are very popular right now in COVID time, for sport or culture events, concerts, or even in small gatherings, like wedding, um, garden parties, 
we are forced to be gathered outside on larger spaces. So to make it cozy, it's perfect solution to make it cozy even in big uh, spaces. Okay, Natalia, can you please show us a little bit more about those products we are showing here? Of course I can. Today we prepared for you two trailers. So on my right side there is a platform LED, on my left side there is a mobile LED. Both of them are uh, made for the American market. Uh, what is quite important, the differences between uh, European and American market are not really big and are mostly visual. For sure you can see already um, that for example uh, we have different wheels and we have also the tape around every trailer. They are the differences which are mandatory for the American market. We have also some more differences. For example, let's take a look. Here we have the power box. And for the American market, we need to have the connection by cam locks, which you have here. Uh, in the uh, European version, the power connection is in the front of the trailer. The power box is hidden inside the trailer. But let's say this is mostly the visual differences, so not really make a big difference. Let's have a look. You could also see already that my colleague Ivan unfolded all the outriggers. Uh, it's very important to keep them all unfolded because with them we can um, make the perfect leveling of the trailer and they also increase the surface of the trailer they increase the stability of the trailer so before raising the screen make sure that everything is in line and the mast is in good position when this is already ready uh, we can start raising the screen but let's have a look also on the body of the trailer here we can see the platform led this is the new version which uh, we started to produce this year for American market. For European market it was already available before as an option. So here we have the, let's say, pro version of the platform. If we imagine what is underneath of this trailer or also underneath the uh, walls of the mobilet, there is the galvanized frame made of structural steel. It's exactly the same for this trailer, it's ex exactly the same for this trailer. And in fact, it doesn't matter if you are located in Germany and you need the TIF certification or you are located in the uh, United States or in any other country, we always make uh, the frame the same way, with same workers, with uh, same certificates. Okay, uh, above the body we have the floor. The floor is made uh, from the anti-slip waterproof uh, plywood, so it reduces the risk of any accident. Okay. Now, now let's have a look uh, what's going on here. As you can see, the mast is already a little bit raised because we. The screen is uh, shared into parts. For the transportation, uh, we put them on these little racks, right? It's just for the safety while transportation. When we want to raise the screen, uh, then first we need to raise the first part, then we need to rotate, be careful with the cables, so don't make any uh, problem there. Then slowly we rotate the screen to connect both parts together. As you can see already, Mateusz, can you come here? We need to be sure that these two parts of the screen are connect safety way. That's why first we use the fast locks, which are already on uh, the screen, those on the cabinet. One, those green one? Uh, yes, uh, let's say this um, green one, what mm -hmm. you can see over there. And you need to make sure that when we already put the screens together, you need to uh, lock each fast lock by one by one. You need to make sure it twice that everyone is done. That will it will not take apart, uh, fall apart. Exactly, exactly. Then we have additional uh, locks, m the manual locks, which you can see over there. Those big silver. This those big silver. Mateusz, can you please? Show us? Oh. oh then also, one, wi uh, one by one, we need to lock. Ivan will show you how to do it.
Okay, so just slowly, one by one, we need to lock them. And also the big lock, like that. You could also see here how how well designed it was. It was yes, it as it you could see, so, so smoothly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was not any problem because uh, once is the uh, perfect design to make <laughs> the frame the correct way for uh, any screen. What is quite important for you, maybe uh, you may buy complete solution from us together with the screen, or you can also send us your screen for the installation, and then we make design exactly for uh, your screen. And you have such a <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Perfectly. But it's completely tailor made. Mm -hmm. Then, and when we make sure that everything is locked, we can raise the screen. Those uh, locks seem to be really solid. Yes, they are. <laughs> and now about the mast, because it's the very important part uh, of the construction. Uh, it's made, of course, also of structural steel. It's double protected from the corrosion with uh, galvanizing and with powder painting. Uh, we have also two types of the locks on the mast to uh, reduce the any risk of falling. Uh, so, first of all, there are the locks between the parts of the mast. So, when we raise the mast, then they lock automatically with the pins. And when we uh, raise the screen completely, we have additional lock over there, which we just push manually. This is just additional uh, safety lock. Uh, as I said, uh, we can produce the uh, screen frame for any screen you have, so this is not the problem. Of course, uh, the uh, screen frame is also protected from corrosion with the powder painting, as you can see, so it also looks uh, better. About raising the screen, uh, we have uh, three options how to do it. We have the wireless controller, which you can see right now. It's very simple because you have just six buttons and one uh, is to raise the screen, another one is to put down the screen. You have two uh, buttons for rotation and you have two buttons to open or close the um, screen wings. So uh, let's have a look also at the Is this the controls. only way to, to control it? Can uh, you do it? No, we have also another option. Uh, Mateusz? Can we? In case you lo you, you will lost. As you can see, mobile. here we <laughs> have also the manual knobs, which also you can rotate the screen, you can leave the screen or put it down. And in case of any uh, ex uh, if in case of any emergency, if you don't have suddenly the power connection, you have the manual pump as well, which is here. So it's very very easy. Uh, let's have a look also on the top of the trailer because we have the wind sensor over there. Mateusz may be here. It is visible from the back. Yes, at the moment, at this <laughs> moment yeah. because it's, it's rotating. So we have the wind sensor over there, right on the top of the trailer. You can see this little hole. And then we have also the little screen which is showing the speed of, uh, of the wind at the moment. We are in the hole, that's why it's zero. And we have the light and sa sound alarm. So in case if the wind gets too strong, you don't need to be worried because it will make the alarm. Then you need to uh, leave the screen. Um, our design of the trailers uh, let us uh, handle the wind speed up to 20 meters per second. Okay. So it's really quite, quite much. Um, so um, it goes very smoothly and quite fast. Yes, it at goes uh, smoothly and, and in my opinion, really quick. You can uh, compare how much it's quicker uh, than traditional I'm solution. Falling, yeah. But we will talk about this later as well. When the uh, screen will be in the correct position, uh, we can unfold the wings. This what I'm sorry, wha what is also important to remark here is that it's not that uh, no noisy. It's no, quite it's, it's very silent. It's you quite can hear silent. The there you can do it in the middle of the night and it's, it's not bothering. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's, it's really, really silent. So when the screen will be already in the good position, which we expect, we can unfold the screen wings. 
like we said, it's with just the button, so it's very, very easy. You can see. We only need here one person. Please notice this. But there's only one person here. Nobody exactly. is here to to help, to associate, to to make any assistance. Exactly, and that's why we also recommend to have the wireless controller yeah. because then you just take a look, you press the button, and it happens. You can happens. go around and check. Yeah. Yeah, but why we use the wings on the trailer? Because we always try to keep uh, the trailer as short as only possible. Because you know, when you have limited space on any event. Then with the long trailer, it can be really not easy. Uh, this way, we have additional area uh, for, for the screen, so mm -hmm. it's really, really very good. Here, we have also, can we see? Here, we have also place for the video controller. Oh. And it's already done. And that's it. We can start our event. <laughs> anyway. So it took like 15 minutes, not even. I think I think not not more. Now let's compare this one, this platform LED, with the mobile LED which we have over there. This this mobile LED. General, it's not the, the general the, the, the difference is that this is this has a walls. The walls. Yeah. This is the main main difference which you can see very easily, right? This is not the standard solution. This is our first trailer we made for the American market with the generator already installed in the trailer. Uh, this generator was uh, produced in the United States. We uh, brought it here, installed in the trailer, and here we can show you how it looks. For the generator, for operating, here we have an uh, additional window which makes using the generator very easily. But let's have a look inside. And here we go. As you can see, we know it already, <laughs> the power can box. Can we fit both of us here? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, the power box, which is exactly the same like in the platform, also for American market, so with the cam locks. Uh, the power box, here is the place for generator. And, and still, still we still have space. inside some space. But yes, when we fold the screen, uh, then this trailer is almost completely full with the screen. So it can be just temporary after unfolding. Uh, we always have here um, the special extra roof which protect us from the rain, from the wind, from the snow. Here you can see already half installed over there. So it's also a very, very good solution, but still everything what is inside the trailer is waterproof. So even if you don't have this roof or it's raining and still you didn't put the roof, you don't need to worry, nothing will happen. But there we have also the additional space for the control room. So maybe let's have a look also. Mateusz will show you how it looks, the control room inside. It has the additional door. Already a desk. Already a desk. A chair. <laughs> <laughs> a chair and the rack for the video uh, controller. Oh. So we have enough space for Ready one place operator. To work, yeah. In standard in st equipment. Uh, this is the additional tool, but uh, the control room is uh -huh. the additional option. Oh, okay. But generally, it's the standard equipment for it's the control always room. There. Mm -hmm. We can also have uh, for the smaller screen the additional control room, the big one, which makes the tra uh, trailer longer. But this is also the good option when you need the full size control room for. And it's also a matter team. of the weight you can have. Exactly. This mm. is the uh, the issue we always fight with. Because in the Europe, we are limited with 3,500 kilos. So, with the platform LED, uh, it's a little bit easier. That's why for platform LED, for uh, European market, we are able to produce the trailer for screen up to almost uh, 34 square meters. This is... Uh, Really huge screen. Just to compare, here we can find the uh, 28 square meter screen. So, little bit bigger. 
Uh, with the mobilet, maximum screen size that we can go is 28 square meters. Mm -hmm. So it's the, it's, it's the maximum, but still it's uh, very big. If you would like to have bigger solution, of course we can do. Then we have uh, containers which can uh, handle the screen up to 91 square meters. So it's really, mm -hmm. really big. But if you need something smaller, maybe for advertisement okay. or any small event or even why not in the outdoor restaurant or <laughs> I don't know, in the garden, possibilities yeah. are unlimited. Then we have also small trailers for four square meters, seven mm -hmm. square meters, mm -hmm. 11 square meters. So the range of our products is yes. rather big. Yes. Y also, we, uh, as you can see here, this is the custom project. Uh, we can also produce the trailer according uh, to your expectations, okay. just inform us uh, what that you would like, yeah, uh, and we can what's make your idea for the trailer, yeah. and we check if we can do it for you. But those two products are the most popular in our, yes. in our uh, yes. offer. Absolutely, yes. I think uh, are the favorite products of our clients. That's why for our first webinar, mm -hmm. we, uh, we decided to choose these two products. Are they are really um, the most popular one. Okay, I think you you have uh, you said yeah, everything. I think it was very it was uh, it's the general information. Maybe if our guest will have any extra questions, questions that we ha will have then time just ask Q and I later. Okay, uh, thank you, Natalia. It was very interesting. Yeah. Um, we need to mention here that uh, workers that are um, that are making those trailers are qualified and uh, experienced in this matter. So we are able to get you um, our standard products but also custom made according to any request you have and what's the most important and our company is really focused on is the safety safety on roads and safety on uh, while using it so that is why we our products are approved by TIF and for example we managed to get a TIF, TIF certificate German uh, TIF uh, for quality certificate which is the same as for the roller coasters which is I think a big asset of our product how how safe they are so you don't have to worry about anything uh, what will be happening with this product on any place you want uh, as we mentioned before, our own homologa homologation gives you also um, guarantee that this will that this will nothing happen when uh, transporting this to any place you want. Um, as we are also placed in middle of Europe, we are able to get you any uh, to those trailers to your door in Europe, but also to the nearest port. We also pos uh, have our own transport company or our own our uh, transport trucks which also minimize your cost of delivery which is also a big asset um, cost of transpo transportation I mentioned but also we have to mention about the cost of exploration uh, as you all know anywhere in the world right now we have a huge problem with people with workers are th uh, they are either not available either too expensive or very expensive to afford. So our mobiles, mobi mobile uh, trailers, are very um, flexible for that. We made our own a little experiment, and we compared our tra trailer to common regular truss, and we have count time to unfold it, to deploy it, deploy to make a deployment, and to uncore it, and how and the time when it was uh, it was ready to start so it took us five and a half hours and even it can take six hours depending on how experienced your workers are and please note there is there must be minimum two people to do that with our trailer you need only one person and that's it and it will take you 15 maximum 20 minutes if somebody is having a phone call during this time <laughs> Anyway, mm, to summing it up, uh, our main asset of those products is safety on roads in Europe and in States. We have made already 250 trailers. We sold them all over the world, Africa, Japan, uh, Australia, Asia, and America. We give you three years of warranty for those products and we guarantee you efficient after sale service and support if you have any fail uh, if something will mm, 
break or you will have any doubts how to do it there is only there is always a pr uh, no no need oh uh, no sorry there is <laughs> there is no problem to call us and we can give you a feedback with helping you in technical matter or we can even uh, get to your place and fix whatever you need we are also able to get you the biggest uh, screen uh, LED screen on the trailer which is 33.75 meters what you uh, also mentioned and we are the only uh, the only company in Poland who gives you product with uh, American uh, DOT Department of Transport all is waterproof all is anti-slippery um, we make also a big focus on uh, making it simple and minimize cost of exploring it uh, so I think it's a big big asset in this time um, what we also can say is that if you have any other idea of making your, your trailer we are also welcome and open for, for making it our constructors here are also experienced and uh, open to do that okay um, before we go to Q&I questions um, I would like to ask you uh, to fill the formula we're gonna put on the chat and to fill it if you have any questions any doubts if this webinar uh, didn't answer some of your questions did y if you would like to have more details about some some s anything else and it will give us a feedback oh here it is and y we will it will give us a feedback for next webinar what we can show you more what you would like to see and how did you find it okay so now we can start the q and i part so if you have any questions please either write it on chat it will be better for us um than to uh, ask them uh, uh, when, when speaking it's better when you will write it on chat so we let's wait a little bit for questions if you have any let's wait a little bit No questions. What is the high height of the platform lead when fully compacted down for transport? Mm, maybe our constructor will say. We were talking about this this morning and I don't remember. What was it? Up to three meters. It's the maximum. The lead. Good afternoon. What is the largest size screen you can have on platform lead with a built in generator to comply with three and a half where are you located nick it depends on uh yeah if, uh, if you're in um, from america or in europe uk, UK. okay so as we have 3500 kilos limit then probably the maximum would be um to have the efficient <laughs> generator it's the 15 square meter um we can also offer the 21 square meter with the generator but then can be slightly not enough so with very bright screen and if you have the white uh, picture then it can be problem okay any more questions what screen ppi do you recommend for outdoor use Our technician uh -huh. is thinking. Are your trailer? Uh, yes, we uh, have homologation to every uh, country. That's not a problem. We have homologation. We uh, have also clients in uh, France yes. uh, who already have the trailer uh, registered, and there yes. was not any issue. So uh, you don't need to worry. Fr if you have any questions about the homologation before purchasing, we can also explain you how to do it. So don't worry, we will help. Uh, how many different sizes? How many different sizes we offer? From uh, three point seventy-five to actually, <laughs> actually, for uh, United States market, usually, you know, we need to think also about the transportation costs, etc. That's why we suggest uh, starting from platform led or mobile led, then fifteen uh, square meters. It's the minimum. Uh, okay. But uh, we may go with twenty-one, twenty-eight. So. How do you protect platform LED screen when in transit? We, uh, we have the, you know, 
Uh, here what uh, ah. you saw in the start was already the platform without the cover. Normally, uh, if we... Mateusz, um, more... Ah, there is uh, the cover. We have the cover, uh, which is very easy to unfold because it's located, let's say, on the top of, uh, of the trailer. I'm gonna show you you could one. see also... Mm, we will uh, send you also the video if you want, uh, how to unfold it. But there is general, for the transportation, there is the cover, which you uh, can see it's covering completely the screen. It goes down from the, from the roof? And you the just cover, uh, cover it? You can see this is also the place when you lock the cover. This, is, the some th this is one of those new ideas yes. we made up uh, last season, right? It's the, the new, new design. Yeah, new design of closing it up and it will be um, much more heavier when uh, transit, when transport, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, any more questions? UK, does the trailer have any of its own power supply? So a trucker could be fitted. Mm, let's wait for our constructor. Okay, we just... Okay, we have information that uh -huh. uh, you are writing to... S ah, you have to put it, you have to put your questions to the main chat. Main chat. Yeah, mm. to main chat. Ah, so for example, uh, if in strong about the power supply for the trailer, no, in standard, uh, in standard there is not any um, own power supply. Um, uh, let's maybe we but can, we can it, discuss we can about it. Yeah, we can keep this qu question and we're going to answer it per mail. Simon, please leave your email address. We're going to give you the answer ASAP. Or contact us directly, you will see later our email. Yeah. Okay, is it possible to see uh, your screen container? Uh, at the moment, we don't have it ready, you know. Uh, it's our first uh, webinar. We decided to show you our most popular products. So it's the platform LED, it's the mobile LED. Of course, maybe next one webinar will be about the container, but at the moment, uh, we don't have it here. If you want, uh, we can show you, for example, the videos, we can show you the pictures of Everything our... Everything is on our website, isn't it? Also, yeah. but uh, if you contact me, I will show you uh, how, how it looks. Okay, for example, in Strong Winds, does it uh, have some warning systems? Yes, it has. Yes, uh, it was the, the wind sensor. We mentioned, yes, it's alarm. When the wind... You could see on the top of the trailer on the roof, there is the wind sensor and also uh, the little screen with the... Showing the, the showing the wind the speed and also the light and sound alarm. Yeah. On uh, platform LED, do you need to disconnect any cables of LED wall for transportation? No, mm. absolutely not. Uh, as you could see, mm, our screen are like two separate screens, let's say, for the transportation. So, uh, Mateusz, can we have the look on the back side? Mm -hmm. We will show you the general idea because it will be but easier for me to explain. But the cables are all together, all the time. They are not, okay. not, not disconnected. So, let's have a look on the back side of the screen. Uh, we have here, you remember, in the middle we <laughs> have the screen connection. Uh, each part of the screen has separate power box. Okay, so uh, this way you don't need to connect any extra cables when you are connecting these two parts. Also the screens uh, on the wings, they are already connected. So all you have to do is just do connect uh, the fast locks and the lock on the, screen on the screen frame. You don't need to connect any extra cables. Okay. We have BDF trailer and we are disconnecting hydraulic and signals. I'm not sure what do you mean by that. Can you specify a question? For the mobile, is it possible to have external plug in points for speakers, etc.? Yes. Can we have? Yeah, sure. No problem at all. But un uh, I'm I'm a little bit lost about the question about the BDF, BDF container trailer. that you need to disconnect hydraulic and signals. Yeah, yes. if uh, Jan Kadlek 
if you could please specify your question uh, on or mail. contact us on yeah. email. Yeah, we are not sure what do you mean. Do you planning to show Boxlet on webinar? Yes, probably. It's the question for you if yeah. you're interested. Just <laughs> fill the formular and we will be happy to see your, your request. I think it's, oh. it's our first uh, webinar. Uh, but uh, I don't think that is the last one. So I just got I, I just got an online hot news that we might have one uh, box let uh, for sale, but I think uh, we have to think about it. We, well, we have to look for some details. But I think um, this so is a hot news. Yes, yeah, something something might appear. So keep tuned. Uh, keep so w keep with us. So probably the next one webinar maybe will be about the box, box let. Yeah. Would you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. But 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 I have the news that we we might have one for for um, to sell. Uh, now uh, for Thank the you, Dan. mobile, is it possible to have external plug in points for speakers? Yes, we do. It's uh, no problem. What do you mean about the plugs for speakers outside the connection, or just you think about the hangers for the just connection? I just answered. Yeah. We can mm -hmm. do that, no problem, no problem at all, Dan. Okay, uh, so remember to fill those uh, this formula. It will be uh, oh god. <laughs> okay. uh, we please don't uh, forget about this uh, formula. It will be very helpful for us uh, to to have your your point. Okay. Um, Could you please show the video oh. compartment again? I was thinking you can plug, plug in anyhow. Uh, okay, we're gonna need Ivan here. No. No? Or you can right do it? here. Ah, we're gonna need a camera. Uh, yeah, we will need the camera. The screen is connected by HDMI. Mm hmm Mati? Yes, we can. It, ca it can be connected by HDMI. No problem. Thank you, Melanie. We will show you. Okay. What is the largest screen size possible on mo mini mobile? What is As the, you can the largest see. size? Here we have. Okay, let's let's focus on here one question. When we have the uh, video controller, we can connect to this Nova Star also any HDMI, SDI, etc. So we have plenty of possibilities for the connections. If that's your question. Okay, and what is the largest screen size possible on mini mobi mobile LED? It's seven meet seven square meters. Okay, any more questions? <gasps> we have some problems. Hello. TV. Televizor zostanie wkrótce wyłączony. <laughs> Hold on a second, please. Stay with us. <laughs> we have some technical problems here. No, about the mini mobile LED. Um, about I just the mini, said mo seven. mini mobile LED general. Uh, the most popular is the maximum seven square meter. But anyway, if you're interested in the bigger one, then we can have the special design, let's say, uh, for 1125 square meters. So it's also possible, but oh. it's another offer. It's All the right. custom made, let's say. Okay, any questions more? No more questions. Okay, so uh, if we are done with those with those questions, uh, I recommend you once again to fill this formula. And now that the part when where everybody was waiting for is the special offer. The special offer for guests of our webinar is, the is only valid until end of November. And we offer you 20% of discount and 20% of prepayment. So if you are interested, you have to hurry up because the offer is only until end of November. So 20% prepayment and 20% of discount only for the platform and mobile ad. So I think it's a very good idea and very good offer. So we wait for your, for your <laughs> orders and uh, phone calls regarding any details. Okay, I think we have said everything. Thank you so much for your patience <laughs> and for staying with us. We hope to see you very soon again on our new webinar, depending on what product would you like to see. A price offers, uh, please. Of course, we're going to give you a price if you are going to contact us. We're going to show you our email addresses in a second. And please contact us there. And uh, we will follow with quotations. 
Or you can also send uh, the quotation, uh, the quotation, the uh, price request on the sales uh, at screenled.com. Also, so it's also okay. Will you be visiting to Barcelona, Isa? Are we going to be? In so the trade? far, so far, we don't have the clear uh, answer for this. Everything depends on Corona, actually, and on the situation. We cannot decide anything right now. <laughs> but also remember that uh, anytime you can come here, you can visit us. You know, Wrocław is in the middle of Poland. It's very easy to get here from uh, from Poznan Airport or in Warsaw. It's it's quite easy. So you are welcome here. Thank you, Piotr. Thank you. So you have a nice day. Thank you again. And we hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.